2005, I heard on the grapevine that there was going to be an E17 art trail. And I thought, well, I wanted to be an artist and a mother and not do anything else. So I very quickly, and I think I just made it onto the art trail listing and took part in the very first one. I decided to take part in the E17 art trail because um, it, gave me, it gave me an opportunity to show people who are interested in art my work. Originally, when I first did the Arts Trail, my work would have been quite different. I was a bit more sort of, I think I like to think I was a bit more kind of conceptual. Um, uh, so I would sort of work with themes, like it might be something like the Wild West. And the first exhibition I did was uh, based on a series of photographs of a house we used to go to as a family on holiday in Suffolk. Yes, I've taken part every year that it's been running. It's a great opportunity for me to show my work and to keep connected with the local community. Um, how did the Art Trail um, help me to develop in my, my art and my business? I think it gave me the confidence to almost move on from that um, and go freelance. I became a freelance artist. I um, began to turn my paintings into prints and um, Penny Fielding was uh, running um, a, a shop uh, out of the village, Orford Road, uh, which was probably about the only place. And um, I was able to uh, continue selling, selling prints and, and cards um, through Penny, which was, it was fantastic, yes. I was the first business sponsor, in a very modest way, of the E17 Arts Trail and I wanted to encourage other businesses to support the trail because it was fantastically cheap advertising and because of the amount of business that it brought to whatever business, laundrette, hairdressers, cafe. Um, so I think that the Arts Trail then went on to get proper, you know, proper, lots of proper business sponsorship. Uh, but it was uh, an important thing for me to kind of encourage other businesses to invest in art because it's always art and artists that make an area interesting and lively and desirable to live in. Nobody wants to live in a cultural desert. So you're kind of investing back into your own community and, and business, therefore. The art trail gave a lot of people confidence to do that who otherwise wouldn't have done it. And, um, and also it meant that, that people could uh, come together and talk to other creative people and therefore you start just ideas kind of happen, other little side projects happen. Um, and, and I think my involvement with the art trail from the very beginning um, was always a very, very like nice, a huge part of my life in Walthamstow actually. And um, I was away for two years, 2007, 2008, I was abroad. Um, but 2009, when I got back um, for that art trail, um, the Arts Council gave um, some commissions to Laura and the art trail team. Um, and I was commissioned to start the Art Trail blog, so that was a really nice thing to do as well. Well, I was very excited. <laughs> it was my first E17 Art Trail, and yes, I was excited. They were very encouraging. People who I had spoken to, people who came to see, they were really telling me, continue. <laughs> So they were very encouraging. In one word, can you describe uh, the experience of taking part, part in the e 17 trail? In one word. Can I explain the word? <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. Well, I would say transformative, but not for me personally, but for Walthamstow.